Hello friends, it's Julie Norman and if you can see the mess behind me, that's what we're going to start tackling. This is probably going to be a multiple day, maybe multiple week video because um, I have chronic illnesses. I can't sit and do things um, like I can't do like a whole day declutter. Well, I could, but then I would be in pain and not function for the next day or two. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, instead, we're just going to take it in little bits at a time and I'm going to take you along on the journey with me. And in a previous video, I mentioned my plan for this room and how to get it zoned and better. And I have changed my uh, what I'm going to do first, and I'll show you. So I am going to work on this closet first. And this is going to be the place where I have my craft supplies. And I have been a big crafter in the past where this would be like a joke. Like, like, could I actually fit all of my stuff in this area? Since I've got rheumatoid arthritis in these fingers, I can't do as much as I used to. So I'm being realistic about what I'm actually going to be able to accomplish, which I've never been realistic like that in my life and my crafting. So, hey, it'll be fun. But in order to get to this, I need to move some of this stuff out. I'm gonna, probably going to put it in front of this closet just for the time being so I have some space to work. And then um, that'll be state, step one. Step two, which I might change, is to get this emptied off and reorganized. But I'm also going to have to handle the stuff on the floor. So we'll just do one step at a time. And we're trying not to make a mess as we go. So I'm going to try Dana K. White's steps that she takes when she declutters and I haven't really printed she has a printable which I haven't printed out I'm just going off of what she did in her videos so what she does first is she takes the trash and then you look for stuff that doesn't belong there and then I think it's stuff that that can be donated and then I think you do the container method and then straighten things out something like that so that's what I'm going to do it may not be totally hers but it's it'll help to take it in small bites and one step at a time and also to not create a huge mess as we go because a lot of times when people declutter what they do is they will empty everything onto the shelves I mean even Marie Kondo says to do this I don't have the space in this room right now as you saw every surface is full so I just need to do things in small, small steps and small pieces that if I walk away, I don't have this big, huge mess. Okay, I already have a big, huge mess, but I won't have a bigger, huge mess. And that's what we're going to do. So let's get going. I have cleaned off the table behind me and cleared off some floor space. Next thing we're going to tackle is this. And I did start to clean this out a little bit before. So I do have an empty shelf up here. And I just have to go through this. There is a top shelf too, but that is my husband's stuff. So we're not going to touch that. And then I have these shelves here. All right. So we're only going to take one shelf at a time. And I'm going to go through the process of getting rid of the trash and getting rid of the donations. Um, and things that don't belong here first. Okay. This is trash. I'm just, I was saving it for packing paper. But today, I'm not saving. Alright, I've got a bunch of these glass things from frames. And, you know, I was going to save it up to do a craft. But, I think I'm going to throw them away. But I have to wrap them up nicely, so I'm going to do that right now because if I put it off, it's just going to make a mess. All right, I will find another box as I, and when I find it, I will wrap them up. Okay. Oh. Used to use this for when I did my yarn wrapping. I'm not doing yarn wrapping. Donate. Okay. Another donate. Oh, I'm supposed to just be doing trash. Oops, let's go back to that. Trash. Trash. Okay, so the reason why you do trash and you go through a few times is because then you kind of know what's in there. Um, this is what, I used to try to sell my guinea feathers this way, but um, these are really old. 
so. More feathers. Tissue paper. Um, well, I'm saving this stuff from Planet Perfect, but like I said, today I'm throwing stuff. Old price sign. Feathers. Have to look at that. Ah, I have been looking for this. I've been. I thought I didn't have enough, and now I was looking for this. This is the winner of the day. I don't know how it got in there. Oh, remember my sticker art? This one didn't quite work. found I can put the glass in here so that's what I'm gonna do here we go in this envelope I'm gonna seal it up and mark it all right I think I can't really get into there very much anymore without going through more stuff all right empty box I have saved boxes because I'm gonna start selling on eBay so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do the containment method but I don't have a place to contain them yet. So these boxes are actually gonna go by. Bye-bye. Some envelopes, I think I will keep these. Okay, so I'm skipping ahead to sorting now because I really can't get much more into this. It's a book that I'm going to sell. Trash. These are pressing sheets for sewing, and I've had these for how many years? Probably 10. I finally used them last year for my garden. I cut them apart and I um, used the plastic for marking my rows. But yeah, so obviously I don't need these. I'm going to donate them. I'm going to label what they are and donate them. All right. Um. <laughs> I've got a few swimsuits in here that I had bought a whole bunch on, on Amazon and then I was going to send back the ones that I didn't, that didn't fit. Guess what happened? I still have them. So those I'm going to sell. Okay. Let's donate. Donate. And I found a couple of these containers that I love. Obviously they were so buried in there I couldn't use them. So, But I'm going to keep them and see if I need them. Alright. This is a Lazy Kate for spinning. It goes with my spinning wheel. My Kromsky. But I never liked this thing. I don't... I know it's supposed to go with my wheel. But I think I'm just going to sell this and get rid of it. It's not useful for me, and I don't, and when I sell the wheel, so be it. And these are actually pretty cool. These are from India. Some of the ladies make these on the treadle machines. They, it's made out of sari fabric, and they are sequined, hand sequined, and I thought people would buy them more than they do, but I'm going to try them once more in the booth. It's a, this is like a Mary Poppins shelf. Oh, look it stuff. Trash. Yeah. I was looking for this. Here it is. Tape. Oh. A nitty naughty for spinning. This is the really nice one. And it was, I couldn't find it because it was sitting in here. But this does go in this closet. I'm just going to stick it on the next shelf. A coin set. I actually sold one of these already in my booth, so I'm going to put that in my booth. Oh look, a bag with bags in it. I don't really need them. I'm going to donate that. I have, oh, a whole bunch of cosmetics. Actually, I'm going to donate that. Okay, what do we have in here? We've got keys. I'm going to try selling these again. This is one of my knitting patterns, and I had some printed out. Um, so I'm going to keep them because I actually paid for the printing. 
if I teach this, this again, then I will want the paper copies. Let's see. Empty. There's some CDs. This stuff does not belong, does it? Here. Les Mis. Don't know where the rest of this is. So this stuff, I'm not sure where to put it. Hmm. Okay. The question is, am I going to miss this? I haven't missed it in five years, so I'm going to donate it. I used to love Les Mis. A, a necklace that I got from, what is that box? Subscription box. FabFitFun. I did not like that box. I know there's so many people promoting it, but I'm not going to. Um, I think I'll sell this one. I got this in India. Sell. And I'll keep this with sell because I use clothespins. And I got another empty bin. This is, these are pumpkins that I make for the fall. So I'm actually going to bring these downstairs and put them in the fall decor for my booth. Okay. This explains everything. This is why things are crazy. I lost my marbles, but now I found them. Why do I need these? They don't. They're gone. All right. I've got several tops to candle jars because I thought at one point I'd make little scenes inside the candle jars. Mm, hasn't happened. Throwing them. Sometimes you just got to be realistic, be self-aware that those things aren't going to happen. A tape dispenser. That could come in handy, but I haven't used it, so it's going by. So the minimal mom, she says if she doesn't remember, she has it. She is probably never going to remember where it is when she's going to use it. But I'm going with that. All right. And a little Vera Brad Bradley wallet in my favorite Symphony in Hue color. it has been retired for years. But am I going to use this? Probably not. I'm going to sell it. And a little elephant from India. And that's it. It's empty. I'll show you. Let's go. Here is the inside of the shelf. Look at that, clear corners. And it's actually not too dirty. I mean, okay, there's some of my hair. My hair is everywhere. Just wipe that out and then I can move on to the next. So you get the picture of what I'm gonna do in these shelves. I don't need to go through every shelf with you. Um, I will show you what it's like as I go because this might be multiple days, weeks to finish this. So I actually did a little bit more than I thought I would do. And so I've gone through basically the shelves, except for the bottom one, which is okay, because that's a whole kind of different stuff, it's territory. Here, let me show you as I talk. So here is that first shelf that was empty, you know, random junk. And then this one is kind of, I put my spinning and knitting and yeah, there's some hooks. Uh, more more kind of crafting. Um, what I was doing was just getting out the stuff that I don't want anymore and the trash, things that didn't belong in this area. Finish it in the bottom, but I know these are tools that I'm going to keep. So it's just the other shelves that there's, you can see there's a lot less stuff there. I think that went okay. And, um, and it didn't take too long. And now I have a trash bag full. I've got probably a box or two full of donations because I was being a little bit ruthless with it. So I just have to organize this space. So when I come across craft supplies, they have a place to go, a home to go to. Step one, I'm so glad you're along the journey here with me because it's kind of, it's hard to do it on my own. I just feel like you guys are along with me and maybe you're going to do a little declutter with, with me too. Let me know what you're sorting through as well. And I hope you have a joyful day. Goodbye.